Good morning, everyone. Matt here from Fish On Alberta. It is opening day, June 16th, and today me, James, and Victor will be fishing the Livingston River. I was on the fence of whether or not I would actually mention the name of the river today, but I thought it would be a good time to do a PSA on the Livingston River, so I will talk a little bit more about it once we get out there. So let's get on the road. valley they don't understand what makes and takes the breaks and forsakes a man people in the valley they don't understand the hands which built the roads and shoveled coal seeds were sown dues were all but god damn didn't go to plan i've been trying my best to be a working man Dark clouds come, my love, she cries, she cries, she cries, she cries, she cries, she cries. Miss Mountain Sky, Mountain Sky, tell me why do I have to try so hard to get by? I've been eking out, seeking out, just scraping as I go. Tell me, how did I hit this all time? hands of that place why must a man break his soul on the rocks of the rivers of the mountains oh but i can't and not just yet can't change a man when his mind is set and early in the morning when i rise my love she flies she flies miss mountain sky mountain sky tell me why do i have to try so hard to get by I've been eking out seeking out just scraping as I go tell me how did I hit this all time low This mountain sky is my only truth Even though that wind does blow I don't want to be in that town below This mountain sky, she gives me wings And when I rise, I hear her sing Miss Mountain Sky, Mountain Sky Tell me why do I have to try so hard to get by I've been eking out Seeking now to scrape and as I go tell me how did I hear this all time low? We made her. Twelve years ago, and I didn't know I camped down on this other side of it. I'm 
pull out my trusty four weight TFO. Alright, so I got my seven foot nine four weight TFO. It's a good little rod. I mean, if the wind gets too crazy, I'll bring out the six weight. This is my TFO Prism. Love these reels. Yeah, this thing's been beat up a bit. There we go. This is a catch and release river. Yes. There is signs all over the place, but they're buried in bushes. Speaking of that, let's take a look at the regulations for the Livingston River right now. The regulations for the Livingston River can be found in your Alberta Guide to Sport Fishing Regulations Handbook or online at alberta-regulations.ca slash fishing regs. If you turn to page 36 in your handbook, you will see something that looks similar to the image on the screen. Under the column water body, you will see the Livingston River listed here. Moving right, under water body detail, you will see that the regulations for the Livingston River include all tributaries. The Livingston River is open from June 16 to October 31st. There is also a bait ban. No bait is allowed on the Livingston River. Next, by matching the row and corresponding column, you will find your fish limits. The mountain whitefish limit is zero, and the trout limit is zero. This river is strictly catch and release. Please ensure you follow proper catch and release etiquette to help enhance fish survival rates. If you turn to page 30 in your handbook, you will see items to note. If you look at the area highlighted in yellow, it says, Alberta Fish and Wildlife may implement time of day angling restrictions in this watershed unit in response to low stream flows and warmer water temperatures. Please see the important information page and my Wild Alberta webpage for more information. And if you encounter a Prussian carp, don't let it loose. Please kill it and either take it home to eat or dispose of the remains away from any other water body. And don't forget to pick up a copy of Barry Mitchell's Alberta Fishing Guide for more information on the Livingston River. Well, boys, right, opening day, best of luck to you. Yeah. All right. Best of luck. James, best of luck. Get first. Let me roll down <laughs> the <head. laughs> yeah. He's the candy pig. Yeah. Okay, it's too steep and slippery there. <laughs> All right, let's see if we can get him on. We're supposed to use a rope, aren't we? Is that what Nah. <laughs> Jesus. Uh. Okay, I'm good. Catch and release. And yeah, barbless hooks would be a great idea, but like we all have. All right, James, what are you using today? Nine foot six weight? Yeah. TFO. TFO. Lefty Cray Pro Series. Two. Two. <laughs> and I believe uh, Victor has the TFO NXT. NXT. The NXT. NXT. And oh, his line is a scientific angler. It is. Wait forward, master. I believe that's the mastery, but I could be wrong. Uh, I, I. Yeah, I I haven't seen any, but. <coughs> Yeah. What is that? Battery? What is that? Oh, I don't know what that is. What is it? It's bobber. This? Yeah. That's a beer can bobber. 
Beer. It says soda it's actually blasters, fun. lemon lime. There's supposed to be a, a, a plastic spindle that comes out from it and it broke off. Oh, well, I'll pick it up, put it in the garbage later. Yeah. Yeah. All of our split shot are lead free. That's how we roll. And even my weighted streamers, lead free wire. All right. So this river tends to get a lot of pressure throughout the summer. A lot of people swimming, a lot of people fishing, and a lot of people not knowing that this is catch and release. Although most of the signs are either destroyed or few and far between. Oh, nice, nice. Nice cut. Beautiful fish, James. Beautiful fish. All right. Nice. Yeah, 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 there you go. Oh, it broke Oh, she's off. She's off. You know what? That felt like a Rawson fish. And we got it on camera. Good job, buddy. Good stuff. Good stuff. Nice fish on the hot spot. Oh, he's putting up a little bit of fight now. You got your net ready? Don't lose him. <laughs> I like to say, don't lose him. Oh, this four weight's gonna break. Oh. Uh, you grab him. And he's gone. Quick release. I lost me some pogos. I, I said pogo bar. I'm like, I haven't had pogos in so long. I think why I don't like them is because when I was living with my brothers, oh, I don't know who got the pogos, but they were in the fridge forever. They kind of went broke. Oh, because like, my aunt came over and she's like, oh, you're not going to clean up your kitchen or your your fridge. And then she pulled that out. And was like, oh, fuck. So you uh, you ate slimy pogos? I didn't eat them. Out. So it's a bad memory because they threw out the pogo. Yeah. There we go. <laughs> On to the next hole. Lunch time. Oh yeah. Yeah. It's uh it's the stuff they use on trailer park boys. Yeah. Old Faithful. Doesn't have an O-ring in it, but that's okay. It's old Faithful. Yes, sir. Yeah. Yourselves? Yes. Same thing. Okay. No. Nice day trip. <laughs> Yourselves? Yes. Same thing. Okay. No. Nice day trip. <laughs> yeah, it works out pretty well. I, I think I counted 14 cars along the highway. <laughs> yeah, we did too. <laughs> yeah, so. That's more than enough. Yeah. <laughs> Good luck to you guys. Yeah. Hey. Ooh, I brought. Good. Oh, your basting? My basting oh, that's brush. Your, that's your tools. Yep. Oh yeah. 
Billy Joe's BBQ. Where do you get that from, anyways? Some house down the street. <laughs> Your neighbor, some... it's like a home batch. This is like moonshine. Yep, yep. some oh, random. It's underground barbecue sauce. <laughs> Black market stuff right there, boys. Smelled it. Might as well eat like kings, because we fish like kings today. But I I figured it would be busy for opening day, but I did not expect <laughs> the plethora of people that hit this lit river alone. Tire slid over and it's on James's rod. Have mercy. Is it okay? Is it salvageable? All right, we just finished lunch. Every hole we've come up to has had a bunch of fishermen on it already. There's Victor, there's James. So we're gonna go try and find a hole that has no fishers which uh, could be a, a chore, but uh, well, let's go see if we can get into any more fishing. This is the unfortunate side effect of such a pressured river. Is, uh, every hole that we come up on to fish has a person or people in it. Well, there's beautiful, beautiful hole down there. What? People fishing it already. I thought you were going to say pop with some other swimming in it. A man can dream. All right. So we found a couple of holes that have no fishers. They do have a bunch of cars. But uh, James is going to go take care of some business. And then we're going to head down and fish the holes and see what we can get. It's getting a little windy, and as you can see, it's getting pretty dark. And uh, behind us there, they're just putting out the free-range cattle, so it should be an interesting time, so let's get down there. Another, another thing I want to mention is, again, the Livingston River is so heavily pressured that... Again, every hole we've come up to has had people. And I don't know if it's the amount of fish or the size of the fish, but it's so heavily pressured, it's really unfortunate. And it's probably damaging the fishery. But, uh, I mean, I'm no scientist. I mean, today I guess we're kind of part of the problem, but it is catch and release only. So, if you can, fish barbless you know pinch your barbs it helps release the fish so you lose a few fish whoop de big do um if you are using spinners and stuff try and cut your trebles off i mean that's just gonna rip up the, the trout's face of course if you want to do that where you can keep fish by all means do whatever the hell you want but this is a catch and release only river and uh it goes a long way to take the proper precautions to help preserve what we have before it's gone and that wouldn't be a very nice thing at all. So let's get down to the river and see if we can pull out any more trout for today. That actually might be thunderstorm and it might just skirt us the way the clouds are going. So uh, let's go catch some fish bud. All right, I just missed a fish. Well, I wouldn't say missed, but uh, I just had a fish on. It was probably about like that. But uh, I had so much slack in my line. Didn't stand a chance. All right, let's see if we can get another one then. I got a fish. The white fish? 
There we go. Yeah, we got a. Oh, he's off. Should have used the barbed hook with a smelt. Oh, oh, gee, he's got one. That's fire again. All right, all right. You're not losing this, or I'm jumping in. Oh, he's a nice one. That's a good one, James. Oh, shit. I'm falling in. I'm falling in. Don't worry about the Okay. Get up. Back at it. Get in there. We got it. We got it. Oh, man. She's a beauty. A nice, nice fish. <laughs> Gun on camera too. Right That's on, good. buddy. Beautiful fish. All right. So Victor went up Monster Hill. Oh, I think he's having some tummy issues. James went up another massive hill. I'm taking the fat guy way up. That about does it for us on the Livingston River. It was a pretty good day, caught some fish, ran into a lot, a lot of people. And it really is unfortunate. But this river does get a ton of pressure. So, there it is. So please be mindful when you come out here Show respect to the environment. If you can, pinch your barbs, cut your trebles. Do what you can to help preserve these critters so it doesn't become uh, all barren and unfishable. I'd like to thank you all for watching and uh, here we are with the credits. If you're interested in more Fish On Alberta content, feel free to hit the like, subscribe, and notification bell. You can also join our Instagram and Facebook group by clicking the link in the description below. Always remember to clean, drain and dry your gear. Help prevent the spread of aquatic invasive species and diseases. Aquatic invasive species, such as zebra or quagga mussels, can be spread from one water body to another on boats or gear that have not been properly cleaned, drained, and dried between uses. Invasive plants can also spread through small fragments attached to gear or a watercraft. Fish diseases, like whirling disease, can be spread through mud and water. To prevent the spread of aquatic invasive species and diseases always clean, drain, and dry all watercrafts and gear that touches the water between water bodies. And keep in mind. You can play a role in protecting fish and wildlife resources and our natural surroundings by observing the activity around you. You can report suspicious and illegal activity by calling the number on the screen or by visiting reportapoacher.com. When you report an incident you could be eligible for a reward for providing information on violations of Alberta's fish and wildlife laws. All the music in this episode was downloaded from upbeat.io. Thanks for watching. <laughs> he pretended he had one on the line. I turned on my my recorder thing, and he's doing that. <laughs> you had me. You had me there.